Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Spro Bucktail Jigs. They're a really good universal jig to use for all types of inshore species, everything from redfish, sea trout, flounder, snook, tarpon, all sorts of predatory fish that live in salt water will definitely go after these jigs. So I want to talk about my favorite types of areas to use these jigs, also how I like to rig them up. And there is a certain feature on these jigs that I want to talk about that works really well when using trailers, especially Z-Man trailers. So first, as far as the types of areas, I like to use these jigs because they are a jig. I'll typically be using them in deeper water. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean I won't be using them on the flats because they do come in a lighter size. Uh, you know, everything from half ounce, this is a half ounce here to quarter ounce. So if you need a smaller presentation, a lighter presentation on the flats, these can work really well. But primarily I'm going to be using them, you know, around docks, pilings, bridges, and some of that deeper structure in that five to 10 foot range. So just because it is a jig head, they do get down to the bottom very quickly. Also with that bucktail uh, or deer hair skirt on there, it flows really nicely in the water, makes a great presentation and it very similar to a fly. You know, if you're a fly fisherman and you, you end up using some spinning gear or you wanna present something to a fish that is somewhat like a fly, uh, such as a streamer or anything like that, this can mimic that very well. So if you do want to present this like a fly or something a little bit lighter, definitely go with a very light uh, bucktail jig. And that's another thing that's really nice about these is just the wide range of sizes, you know, goes from everything from a small, you know, quarter ounce up to like a two and a three ounce. So very universal as far as where you can use them. You can even use them offshore uh, when you get into that two, three ounce range. Now, the one thing that I wanted to talk about with these jigs and that what I really like about them is the keeper on the hook. So this is a bare uh, bucktail jig jig head. I actually cut the skirt off so that you can see the keeper on there. All it is is a small little wire. And with, what I really like about that is it works extremely well with Z-Man baits. You know, if you don't have any type of keeper on there, they're just gonna slide right off. And also if you have too big of a keeper on there, it's not gonna work well with Z-Man baits just because of how, you know, stretchy the material is. It can be hard to rig them up on jig heads. So with these Z-Man baits, this is our uh, Z-Man Minnow Z in the Slam Shady color. What makes it really easy is that it just slides right over that keeper and it holds really well. So what you're gonna do is just start rigging it up on that jig head. Again, I'm using a bare uh, jig head here just to show you, but I would normally be doing this on one that has uh, the actual bucktail on there. And you're just gonna rig it up just like you normally would on a jig head, slide it up onto that jig head. And when you get to that keeper, what you wanna do is actually pinch the plastic above it and then pull that plastic up and over it, like so. So as you can see there, I've pinched it, pushed it up over, and you can sort of slide your finger up over that keeper and then push down and pull that plastic back, and that'll help secure it more. So again, it works really well. That keeper on there works really well for Z-Man baits and also other types of baits. You know, at least there is a keeper on there to hold on your plastics if you're using them as a trailer. So again, really quick, just to show you here with the actual bucktail fibers on there, rigging this up, you're just gonna slide that soft plastic onto a jig head. Make sure you get the hairs out of the way the bucktail fibers, you don't want them to get scrunched up and caught as you're rigging this up and do the same thing. Just push it up onto that jig head. You want to slide that plastic up over that keeper and then push down and pull back. And there you go. You now have a bucktail rigged up with that soft plastic. Now don't worry too much about the fibers being out like that. You know, when this does go into the water, those fibers are going to go down. And what's nice about this when you have a trailer on there is when it hits the bottom and it stops, those fibers are going to poof out a little bit and that gets, just gives it a lot more action. So just a little tip there as far as when it comes to using a trailer with these Spro Bucktail Jigs. And just a little demonstration here showing you 
how secure it is on there on the hook keeper. I'm pulling on that thing, snaps right back into place. Don't have to worry about it sliding off. So again, just wanted to quickly touch on the Spro bucktail jigs, you know, what types of areas I like to use them in. Also that little trick with the uh, bait keeper that's on the hook for your trailers. If you do happen to like to use trailers with bucktail jigs, again, I like that wire on there especially for Z-Man baits, but it works well for all types of soft plastics. So again, we do sell these Spro Bucktail jigs on our shop page, so just head over to fishstrong.com and you can pick some up. And again, keep in mind, if you are one of our Insider members, you do get up to 20% off, so definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments or perhaps any additional feedback you'd like to share uh, or any experience that you've had using these jigs that you would like to share, whether it be good or bad, we would definitely like to know. So let us know in the comments down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you're new to Salt Strong, we are the online fishing club that guarantees you'll start catching more fish while saving money on your favorite tackle and gear. To learn more, head over to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there.